Hi guys, welcome to another video about the problem when you cannot access a website like here on Yelp, yelp.com. It shouldn't be a problem to access these sites, especially from US. And here it says, so you are not allowed to access this page. On other web pages, the messages are similar. So what can you do? What's the problem? Usually it is about the IP 90 or 95% of all these problems are related to the IP. So it is a IP address which has been previously blocked. Usually this is probably in 80% of all the cases and a lot of cases are when you are in the wrong country. So if you're using a VPN, so let's say you're using Mexico to watch a video there. Uh, yeah, if this is needed, this is your choice. I mean, I'm not talking about legal or illegal, but if you are with VPN connected to the wrong country, this can be a problem. Or the IP, sometimes user are doing crazy stuff and then companies are blocking external IP addresses and they are not aware of that, that the IP addresses can change. So they leave it blocked and your only possibility is to either stop using a VPN or start using a VPN or you just switch the server, which you can do usually like here is NordVPN. I can just switch here to another server and usually it should be good as long as I'm in the right country. So here I think US should be good. The Yelp.com definitely covers US, shouldn't be a problem. Sometimes takes a little bit of time to connect. Of course, sometimes it doesn't work right at the beginning. So we are trying now Maybe it helps, maybe not. So in this case, it worked right away. What could also be a problem? That's the thing that you have some chunk left in your browser history. So you can go, so you're usually here, let's say on Chrome, you go here and go to the settings. And yeah, in the search field, you enter something like browsing data or clear browsing data and you here have the thing and you click on that and you click whatever you think you do not need. Yeah, usually you have three things which you can delete. You can either delete history, cookies or cached images and files. So usually cached images and files are okay. Cookies, yeah. You have to be aware that you have to re-enter some of the data and also browsing history, same thing. So you have to be careful, but in general, you shouldn't lose crazy stuff. Yeah, that's it for now. I think these three things or one of these three things should actually solve this problem in 99% of these cases. If you still have any problem, just let me know. If you have any other questions or better solutions for that, just put everything in the feedback area down below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.